It's Thursday, August 24th, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. In the heats towards the women's 400 meters finals in Budapest, Barbadian Shadia Williams said something new was motivating her. So all I'm thinking about is like, let's get this money. So, you know. Today she is the toast of the town, having won bronze in the finals yesterday. Commentators say she peaked at the right time. So it was for me a solid performance, an outstanding performance, especially given in the context that she wasn't among the best in the world coming into these championships because of the time that she was running. But as, as you mentioned, Fallon did pick her once, and he picked her once, and she picked well. A man has been shot dead early this morning at the Dover kiosk in Christchurch. Police say they got the call around 2.30, and they want anyone with information to contact them. There's been another major shooting in the United States. In Southern California, at least four people are dead, including the gunmen. Six others were wounded. Disgruntled Caribbean Airlines workers are voicing a complete loss of confidence and disappointment in their management. They claim that there's a major shortage of pilots. There are planes on the ground with no pilots to fly them. None. You have now opened the door for foreign contract workers into the flight deck. Analysts are considering the global impact of India's decision to slap a 40% export tax on onions and its recent ban on the export of non-basmati rice. One regional country that's keeping an eye on the developments is Jamaica, where rising temperatures are also posing a concern. President of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, Lenworth Fulton. We should be having a lot of onions in the ground now for the fall crop. But the farmers couldn't sit here and couldn't sow their onions because of the intense heat and drought. The Caribbean Examinations Council is scheduled to release its preliminary May-June 2023 results today. Students should be able to access their grades from 6 o'clock this evening. Russia's President Putin remains silent on the reported death of Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin. The man who led a failed mutiny against Putin was said to be one of ten people on board a plane that has crashed. We don't know what caused the crash or whether Yevgeny Prigozhin was indeed on board that plane. Six countries have been invited to join the BRICS Group of Nations in its first expansion in 13 years. The six are Argentina, Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. The BRICS is setting out to challenge Western dominance in international affairs. The weather forecast? We are told that we can expect a mix of sunshine and clouds with occasional scattered light to moderate showers, mainly over northern and western districts. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.